friends, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. I'm Kelly and today we're gonna talk about the app Robinhood. Now this is a super basic Robinhood tutorial on how to use the app for a very baseline. This is more geared towards, you know, first time using the app women that are looking at to start investing very very basic but it is such a great app and i'm so excited to start this journey with you if you're new to my channel freedom in a budget welcome my channel is all about living a full life on a budget i make videos every single week on how to live within your means making sure that you're living a full life within the contents of a budget but how the budget gives you freedom i have paid off twenty three thousand dollars worth of debt cash flowed my thirty thousand dollar wedding paid for a jeep in cash and now we're saving for our first home and it has been so much fun just to be able to do that because of a budget when i was before a budget i was living paycheck to paycheck overdrafting every single month and it was just it was so stressful and so bad so now that i have a budget i am sharing that with you guys and sharing my life with you so i hope that you subscribe join the family welcome to freedom in a budget so today I'm going to be investing $100, $150, $200 in Robinhood and it's going to be so much fun. So if you are new to investing, this is going to be a great app for you. It is very basic. Now we also invest in our Roth IRAs our 401ks at our job with employer match and everything so this is in addition to that now if you're not doing anything like that i would recommend doing your own research and figuring out what's going to be best for you everything that i'm investing in on the robin hood app that is not necessarily what i recommend for you i recommend that you do your own research please 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 do your own research figure out what's going to be best for you your situation your own research on the stocks and everything like that. If you do want to join Robinhood, I will have a link down below in the description box for you on a free stock. If you sign up, you get a free stock, I get a free stock as well, which is really cool. So go check out the description box. There's lots of really great information in there as well for you. If you're unfamiliar with it, Robinhood, it is a completely free app. There is no charge at all. There is a plus version, but I am just doing the basic version. And Robinhood is a great way to invest in stocks in ETFs and cryptocurrencies. There's an app version as well as a desktop version, which is so convenient that you can do this on the go, on the whenever you're out and about, you can check your portfolio, you can buy stocks, you can buy ETFs, anything like that right from your phone. All right guys, so I am going to bring this up on my phone here so that you can see exactly what I'm doing in real time, what the app looks like, everything. It is, it's really cool. So. First, we're gonna do face ID and login. So I have started at $100. I think it may be getting a little bit more, we're gonna see, and I'm just gonna give you kind of a overview of what it is in here. Now, I created the account, I used a free stock from one of my fellow YouTube friends and gave him a free stock. I got a free stock as well, and so, I loaded $100 and that is all I have done. It has just been sitting in here for a couple days now and let's get into it. So as you can see at the top, we have $100 in there. Then you can see some stocks, some cryptocurrencies and a watch list. So this watch list, it allows you to add companies or add ETFs to it that you wanna watch and you want to see what's, you know, what's going on with them. Are they going up, are they going down? What's going on with them? And if you want to click on one, it gives you stats on it. It gives you what's going on. It gives you um, analysis rating. It gives you its earnings. Um, people have also bought a little bit more about the company, what's going on with the company. It gives you, one thing that's really cool, it gives you today, a week out, a month, three months, a year, five years, um, and just so you can see what's going on with the stock, which is so cool. So that is different things on the wish list or the watch list. You can see how Tesla is doing the uh, one week, month, three months, year, and five year, which is so cool. Also, if you want, you can search. So let's search, I don't know, let's search Starbucks. Starbucks, you can see it there. And they each have their own like sub little name, kind of like airport codes. 
So Starbucks is SBUX and right now a stock is 76.65 and you can see how it's doing. It's going up and up. It is doing great. The stats, the news, 39% um, analysis rating, its earnings. People also bought Disney, Apple, Microsoft, Bank of America, Walmart, Netflix, Intel, Facebook, Twitter, Procter & Gamble, Target, AT&T, GE, McDonald's, Verizon. You can see it goes on and on about Starbucks. It gives lots of great. And if you wanted to buy, you could buy right from there, which is so cool. And then if we go into my profile, you can see total I have $103.16. If I want to upgrade it to gold, I can do that right from the app and it has all of the information. So let's see, we are going to buy a couple. So first one we are going to buy is AT&T. Now again, this is not something that I am suggesting you guys buy, but just when I'm buying. So we're going to do AT&T. Right now it is at 3220, so we're going to buy number of shares, 1. Now one thing I don't like about this app is you can't buy fractional shares, you can only buy whole shares. So I can do 1, I can do 5. 5 would cost me $161. Um, but right now I'm going to just buy 1, hit review, and then swipe up to submit. Order received. Yay! All right. Next up, we're going to rate the rod. No, not right now. All right. Next, we are going to do JetBlue. So let is let's find him here. JetBlue, seventeen oh four, and he is down right now. We're going to buy one share. Review. Swipe up. And order received. Next, we're going to buy Starbucks because Jamie loves him some Starbucks. Let's see here. Where is Starbucks? SBUX. Right now it is $76.65. We're going to buy it. And if you see at the top, it says $48.30 available. So what it's going to do is it's going to make me add more money to my account. So it says, you don't have enough buying power to buy shares of Starbucks. Would you like to purchase one share? Do you want to make a deposit of 30 to 18? So yes, make deposit. Review. And done. Review. And swipe up to submit. Order received. All right, and next we are going to mix it up a little bit and we are going to buy a ETF. So buy, how much? One, review, make deposit, review, submit, continue, done. order received. All right guys, so that is the app. So a couple pros and cons. Pro is it's easy, it's super user friendly. I am not a investing person at all. It's very easy to just play around with and very just easy way to figure it out. Be like, oh, okay, this is how the app works. This is what this means. This is what that means. Super easy, friendly, great for beginner investors, great for women that are a little intimidated in this space. I personally was, and it was a super easy app to just get in there and figure it out. Another pro is there are no fees, which is absolutely incredible. It is a completely free app, which I did say that you can upgrade to the plus version or the gold membership, but just, just do basic investing, no fees whatsoever. Now, some of the cons, you cannot do fractional shares, which it is kind of a bummer. You know, there are some shares that I would like to purchase, but they are pretty expensive and I just couldn't afford them right now. We are just kind of doing basic investing into this. So couldn't do those bigger shares, but you know, it's okay. 
Another con is you cannot auto invest, which is something that, you know, it has its pros and its cons. I wish that it would auto invest. I feel like investing in different things like this is kind of like saving. And when you have money automatically drawn out of your savings account, it makes it habit a lot easier so that you can just go ahead and not think about it, not do it. But with this, you do have to be very intentional about going in and making those purchases and making sure that you are investing on a regular basis. So those are the pros and cons that I found with Robinhood. Please let me know down below if this is something that you enjoyed. Would you guys like me to review some other apps, some other investing like M1 or Acorn or different ones like that? Please let me know down below. I would love to hear from you. Let me know if this is something that you enjoy. Let me know if you have any comments, any questions, and I will definitely answer them in an upcoming video. Would you like me to continue and share with you my portfolio? If the stocks and ETFs that I purchase, if they're growing, if they're going down, let me know. What do you guys wanna see? This is totally new to me, and I would love to learn along with you and show you my wins, my fails, and I'm not gonna show you just the great stuff, but if the stocks that I bought totally tanked and I totally failed, then I wanna share that with you guys. I wanna be real and be like, hey, I bought these and they sucked and yeah. So let me know down below in the comments guys and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. All right guys, I'll talk to you later, bye.